remember immediately thinking, that's really scary, that's right behind our apartment. A couple trying to fly home to see what remains of their apartment after this morning's massive fire in South Austin. And we're getting our first look at the damage inside that South Austin apartment complex. A massive three alarm fire at a nearby construction site this morning spread to the apartments. We've been following the story ever since it broke on KXAN News today this morning. That fire displaced more than two dozen people. While Austin firefighters need to pinpoint a cause, they estimate the damage at at least two million dollars. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark spoke with one couple who lost nearly everything and they're still holding out hope they'll find their beloved pet cat. Before the sun rose, neighbors at the Tramer at Oak Run Apartments woke up to this. Before it set, they were trying to salvage everything they could. Right Property management here plans to put fencing around the apartment complex, which had two buildings destroyed, along with nine cars burned. And some learned about what happened from thousands of miles away. Uh, our friend who had paid for internet on his phone for the flight tapped me on the shoulder and said, is this next to you guys? And I saw that it was the uh, construction on Bannister. It was like the little headline from you guys at KXAN. Dan Boyle and Mandy Chenault interviewed with us from the Seattle airport. They're on their way home, having been on vacation in Japan. Their apartment, like several others, appears to be a total loss. And now they need help finding their 19-pound cat, Whiskey. He's kind of a big cat. He's like about 19 pounds. So he's a he's a kind of a heavy boy um, if he's not injured. Uh, and he's kind of gray and white, brown. Um, he's got white paws, um, like little socks, uh, so that's kind of a distinctive feature too. We first got in touch with the couple through these posters that were put up in the neighborhood. Turns out they have a lot of support. We have a bunch of friends who have uh, been helping um, uh, go around and uh, help us try and find them. The couple is hopeful that Whiskey ran out the door when firefighters kicked it in this morning. They return home tonight and are hopeful someone watching may be able to reunite them. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. The couple says they have a place to stay with friends they are traveling with. Other neighbors who were displaced by the fire have been given help by the Red Cross. A community right across the street from that construction fire is proof of how important it is to have an evacuation plan. This morning, residents at Skyline Terrace were told to evacuate out of an abundance of caution. Foundation Communities, the organization that runs the complex, says they just two months ago had a fire drill there. Austin firefighters were even there to evaluate how they did and make sure they have the best procedures in place. Having practiced makes it a lot more likely that people are gonna do the things that they need to do to get out safely. Skyline Terrace houses people who are disabled as well as veterans and people who have been homeless.